Hi, this is uh, my little video on um, how to pack, do backpacking if you're like going to Europe or if you're just traveling out of states and you don't want to take a suitcase um, and you can just want to pack light and it's easier, um, you don't have to check your bag. Um, so uh, first off, we start with the backpack. Um, I chose a 45 liter backpack. Um, people will say, you know, get you know, the really nice backpacks that cost like $150, $200, $300. I say, I, I don't know why you would want to do that. I have a bag that worked just fine. Um, oh, I paid $50 for it, and um, it's it's actually a Walmart backpack. So um, it works for me. Um, this first um, pocket is, you know, good for electronics, stuff like that. And it has, you know, kind of a, a deep, you know, um, main pocket and then inside there's a little spot where you could put maybe um, a laptop or some water paperwork or something <clears throat> there's a side access to it um, there's also a bottom pocket here that's below everything where you can put like toiletries or I put my medicine bag um, in there <clears throat> that's hang on here's my toiletries um, another thing I have with me is um, this small backpack. It folds up in, into a little bag. It's really handy. Um, I bought that at Ross or Marshall's, one of those stores. Um, <clears throat> so packing like your clothes. Um, I bought these um, packing cubes at Target. And um, I have with me, because it's the middle of March, it's still kind of cold, so I didn't really wear any shorts. Um, I'm wearing one pair of pants right now. I'm having a second pair of pants. Um, also, in this packing cube. So what I do is, um, you, you know, you roll up your clothes pretty tightly. Um, pretty simple. I use just regular t-shirts. Um, they don't wrinkle very much, but... Um, I use this uh, rubber band to help <clears throat> keep it tighter um, so it doesn't expand. I have one pair of shorts, you know, if I want to go swimming somewhere or pool or whatever. And then I have um, this one is just filled with um, socks and um, underwear. Um, I have a certain type of travel underwear. I have like two pairs that is good for... Like you can wear one pair and um, you can <clears throat> wash the other, you know, wear one pair. And then when you come home or take a shower, you can just take those off and wash it in the shower and then hang that up to dry and you can wear the other pair. And it's pretty awesome. They're like $30 a pair of um, underwear. Um, can't think of the name of them right now. I'm just... I might put it in the description below. Um, I just also wear this shirt as uh, I was traveling on the plane. <clears throat> so I have an extra shirt, a buttoned up shirt. So it's, you know, a nicer shirt maybe. Um, like I said, it's a little bit colder right now. So I made sure I brought um, this rain jacket to help, you know, kind of folds up pretty well inside um, the backpack. And then I have this hoodie that I wore on the plane. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, this is working for me. It may not work for you. You may need more clothes, but I feel like this is pretty good. If you're okay with wearing multiple shirts, sometimes you rent a Airbnb that has like a washer and dryer or whatever. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, just comment below. Have a good day.